everybody, Liam Goodwin's here with another episode of Into the Wild. On this episode, we're going to be learning about the Florida film history. So grab your popcorn and let's go into the wild world of the film business. The film industry in Florida is ranked third in the United States. Most of the production work is concentrated in three major areas. Miami and all around South Florida, Tampa and Orlando or Central Florida, and finally, Jacksonville. Florida's awesome weather and sunshine make it a year-round destination for film crews. The government of Florida has a long history of aiding film work in our state. They like when people film here because it helps the tourist industry, so they, so the government gives money called incentives to the production companies to keep the cameras rolling. Think about it. If you saw a nice weather, Disney World or South Beach in a movie, wouldn't you want to come visit? In the 1900s, Jacksonville was the first on the film scene with Eagle Studios that became the famous Norman Laboratories. Richard Norman was one of the first people to make movies that starred African Americans. The complex still stands today and you can take a tour. In the 1940s, Miami started to rise in popularity as a tourist destination. The film community followed the trend and the famous Max Fleischer opened his animation studios on the Miami River, where he generated his popular Betty Boop and Popeye cartoons. From Fleischer, it didn't take long for lots of projects to come to Miami and showcase fun in the sun. Here are just a few. Clam Bake, Where the Boys Are, and The Bell Boy. Miami wasn't a home only for movies. It produced many popular TV shows like The Jackie Gleason Show, Flipper, and Gentle Den. All the film work being shot means lots of people, like my mom and dad, have good jobs. They're working commercials, which is another huge part of the film community in Florida. I recently visited a Bojangles commercial that my mom was working on here in Orlando. The production company came from New York and used a soundstage in local businesses to shoot their commercial. I got to talk with some of the crew. Well, I am the art director, so I create the environments uh, where the actors can play their roles. Uh, Florida is a good place to work because, uh, first of all, it's not Hollywood. Uh, secondly, the weather is great. Uh, a lot of times you can't shoot in places like New York because it's very cold, so they come to Florida to shoot. The crews are great. Uh, Florida has some of the best electricity around and crews, um, but mostly because it's got really good good photons. Who are you, kid? I'm what are you doing here? the director of Into the Wild. Hey, beat it. You're not supposed to be here. Security. Oh, please, thank you. Hey, no running on set. Station is a traditional production company, TV commercial production company and uh, we make TV commercials. What would you say is the best part about shooting in the Sunshine State? Yeah, <laughs> that's easy. The warm weather, the great crews, <laughs> the most magnificent people. I get to see you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been getting a lot of great crews, so maybe we're onto something here. We yeah. love shooting here in Orlando. So you see, when you watch movies or shows like this one, remember that a lot of people get a job and the viewer gets to be a visitor. Not bad. I hope Florida keeps helping the film community because I love to see my parents working and my state on the big screen. I'm Liam Goodwin for Into the Wild, and that's a wrap. This is going to be awesome. The government of Florida has a long history of aiding film work in our state. Tune in to the next episode of Into the Wild when we slice into the history of ninjas and their cunning use of black in their fashion statements. Hi -ya!